kids, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, I have a special July 4th recipe to share with you. So July 4th, aka Independence Day, aka one of Will Smith's best movies ever, am I right? Today we're gonna make chili dogs, and I have a little song, and it goes something like this. ch ch, -ch chili dogs, ch ch, -ch chili dogs. And I'm gonna figure out the rest of it later. Go USA. To make our chili, we're gonna start out by opening a beer. It's very important that you drink beer while you're making chili because that is the American way. And, oh, that's good. I'm gonna put a little oil in here, or a lot, whatever. And I'm gonna saute this onion. Just try to get it a little bit soft. We don't really need to brown it or anything like that. And make sure that you chop it up real, real small. The thing about chili dog chili is that it's almost like a meat paste. And I know that sounds delicious, and you're probably just like slathering at the mouth right now thinking about meat paste, but I promise that it'll be great once it's done. So yeah, just make sure that you mince your onions and everything really, really small. Okay, so after just about a minute, your onions will start to look a little bit translucent. Not totally, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna add jalapeno and garlic. If you wanted to keep this mild, if you were making this for like a bunch of children or something, or very elderly people, then you could just use some green bell pepper for the jalapeno. Okay, so now for the funnest part, we're gonna put our meat in. I'm gonna put it on top of the onion. And now, the second beer that you're gonna need is gonna go in. So the thing about, the way that they get the, um, the meat to be so like falling apart, tiny little chunks, is you don't brown it first, you're actually basically boiling it. So adding a beer, if you wanted to use um, beef broth or something instead, that would be fine, but we're gonna cook this so long, the alcohol is all gonna cook off anyway, so. And once I've got some in there, I'll start breaking it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some seasoning. So I've got, here is just um, cumin, chili powder, a little bit of allspice, which is a little secret ingredient. Uh, and then some paprika, because I wanna make this extra red because, you know, of the flag and stuff. There's red on it. And some Worcestershire sauce few healthy glugs of that and a little bit of dry mustard. You could also just use like some yellow prepared mustard if you don't have dry mustard. Give it a little stir. I'm gonna add some tomato paste. I really just like this because it's fun to squirt it out and I get to just like deck it all up. Okay, cool. So a couple tablespoons of tomato paste and basically I'm just gonna bring this up to a simmer and let it simmer uncovered for about an hour. Okay, one hour later, this is what we're looking at. I just stirred this about every 15 minutes or so. And now at the very end, give it a taste, add some salt if you think it needs it. But remember that hot dogs are usually pretty salty too, so maybe you could undersalt it. I'm just gonna add a little touch, just a smidge of some apple cider vinegar. And I happen to love vinegar and sour things. Not that that really makes this like sour, but I just think it makes it taste more like chili dog chili. But it's optional if you you know, just give it a taste. If it, it seems a little bit like it needs a little perk, then try a little bit of vinegar. That's a good tip generally in life. Okay, move this aside and ta-da! I'm gonna show you my favorite way to cook hot dogs inside. So I've got um, my skillet here with a little bit of water in it. So I'm gonna throw a couple weenies in here. And basically, I'm sort of combining the steam or boil hot dog method with um, a little bit of a fry. So I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer and just kind of let these cook until the water evaporates. And by then, they'll be nice and warm and some of the fat will have rendered out. And then we'll um, let them sort of fry and crisp up in whatever uh, fat is left in the pan. So just watch and see, it's gonna be magical. Okay, so our water's almost evaporated off here. A few minutes later, I'm just gonna leave them in the dry pan now for just a couple seconds on each side to get the casing nice and crispy. Got my bun here. You could heat these up in the oven, wrapped up in foil, kind of get them steamed. So I like a little bit of cheese. I like to put the cheese down in between the chili and the hot dog to make sure it gets melted. Dude. Cha 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 chili dog. See, this chili is great because it's nice and thick, so it's not like 
running out of the bun. It's just sort of staying where you put it. And it's not gonna make your bun like super wet and soggy. A little onion, because I like it spicy. I'm gonna do a little jalapeno. A little pickled jalapeno there. Super yummy. And then a little bloop, just like in the cartoons. Okay, let's give it a taste of Rooney. That's just like a perfect little submarine of goodness. Good Lord. Look at that. Tell me you don't want to eat that right now. Well, there you go. There's how to make chili dogs, guys. Um, hope you like it. Hope you try the recipe this summer for your barbecue, for your 4th of July, whatever. And if you have any questions about it, leave them in a comment below. And I will get to your answers as soon as I can. Okay. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. I need another beer. Ch -ch chili dog, ch -ch -ch chili dog. I eat them on a bench or even on a log. I like some onions on them. I like some cheese too. I like some jalapenos. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat that chili dog until I beat it. That sounded like I was talking about a penis. I wasn't guys. I was just talking about beating the S out of this with my mouth, with my chompers.